Welcome to uh, TTP's Year Wanderlust. This is day 306. Right? No, sorry, no. I'm, I'm on four, day 406 right now. And guess where I am? I am in uh, the Maldives. If you can look behind me and see the ridiculously blue water and everything. I'm in the Maldives. I'm on the island of uh, Turadu. I have been here for a day now. Yesterday it was raining really hard, so I didn't really get to do much. Um, but today, as you can see, is a clear and gorgeous blue sky. Some scattered, some scattered clouds might make for a good sunset today. Uh, besides that, it's uh, really hot. I mean, it's really, really hot. It's really hot, but uh, the water looks very inviting. I, I want to go in, but right now I'm just walking around doing some photography. Later tonight, I think we're going to go fishing. Uh, some do some nighttime fishing, maybe see the sunset. But I mean, Jesus, you know, look at that. <laughs> so over there is a resort island. It costs about 900 USD for a night. I'm paying a lot less than that. Way a lot less than that to be on this little uh, island of mine. It's uh, half of it is quite you know deserted. It's still build building up. This is a local island, as you can see. Um, and then there's a picnic island is over there and then let me give you a walk so anyways I'm in the Maldives for five days and uh, I was in the capital city in Male for two days I got to I went around uh, Huhu Male uh, I did uh, what you call it I did Huhu Male I did uh, uh, Vi Vilangili and then took a two-hour speedboat ride here to Turadu and I'll, I'll be here for three days before going back and then going to Barcelona for my birthday. Huh. Um, I'm walking on this, these rocks, you can see. Uh, basically, what do I think about the Maldives? I mean, it's fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. Look, look at that, man. Look at that. I just want to go in right now. Don't you? Like, shit. I should just jump in right now. Too bad I have like, my camera and everything on me. Um, so... It's uh, interesting, you know, like the, the Maldives, if you don't know much about it, is, is an interesting uh, crossroad of culture. You have uh, Indian influence, uh, Arabic, uh, Arabic influence, it's a, it's a Muslim country. Uh, sorry, it's an Islam country. Uh, Muslim? Islam? Huh. I don't know what the proper way to say it. Uh, country. Uh, but, and then it's, it also has some African influence, right? Because back in the days, the traders from Middle East, from Africa, I think Ethiopia, we come through here to get to Asia, and so lots of lots of influence. Um, the people are very interesting, I would say. Uh, the in terms of facial feature, uh, there's I mean you can see you can definitely see that there's a, there's a lot of mix right there. There's, there's some African mix, uh, some Middle Eastern mix, some South Asian mix. Um, in any case, so Turadu, this little unique small island, is actually a biosphere, a UNESCO biosphere. I didn't even know that. Well, I did. That's why I chose to come here. But it's a UNESCO biosphere. Oh God, my arm's getting tired. Anyways, it's a UNESCO biosphere, and um, no, no, no more blue ocean for you. It's a UNESCO biosphere, and because it has so many a animals and everything living here, I haven't actually gotten a chance to go snorkeling yet, which is a shame. But I think today, if we go, because um, it's too hot and I don't have sunscreen, if we go uh, fishing, hopefully I want, hopefully tonight fishing tonight, this evening then I can go and jump in and try and see what I can find. If not that, there's always tomorrow, right? I mean, I don't think the weather. Hopefully yesterday the rain kind of hard, but uh, today is really great. I'm hoping for tomorrow the weather remains the same. Um, in terms of everything else, so Toradu, it's uh, apparently there are manta rays here. Um, you can catch lobsters if you know where to catch them. There are turtles, lots of fish. Uh, you know, once I get into the water and I take you guys with me, hopefully uh, you'll be able to see uh, everything that I'm talking about. But right now, just look at all that blue. Look at all that blue, man. So this is um, the Maldives is an atoll, right? So this is the first time I've been in uh, I've been in, uh, in, in an atoll. And what makes an atoll is if you look out there, look, see all the waves. So that's where the coral reefs are at. So it's stopping the waves there. And over here, because all the waves are all stopped over there, here you have really calm water. So it makes it, it, makes it really great for swimming and everything. 
Alright, I'm gonna head back. So, not really much left else I can say. I'm really enjoying it here. The food is really good. Like, really. Uh, every day is uh, seafood. I mean, I can't, I can't get better than that. You got lobsters, tunas, rainbow fish. I really want to try and catch a parrot fish tonight if I can. Uh, some people at my guest house, they've caught the octopus to eat, lobsters to eat. So it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a very seafood place because I mean, there's no, there are no chickens growing up here, no cows, or whatever, and pork, and pork is banned here. In any case, huh, it's hot. I need to get out of the sun. I think you've had enough of me uh, talking and everything. So how about I just uh, point my camera at the backdrop behind me and so that you see something even more beautiful than this uh, face right here. All right, <laughs> see you guys later.